Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to show you how to merge a CAD model into our current doc Composer document and align this model uh, part or assembly uh, using the tools provided. Um, here we have uh, a ladder view uh, for ladder assembly and uh, the idea is to bring in the hammer sub assembly and place it here along the T nuts, along this hardware, showing the assemblers that this T nut is going to be uh, hammered in for support. Uh, with the view active, let's click on File, go to Open, and select the sub assembly hammer.sld ASM. Now there's an option for select uh, merge into current document, make sure that's selected, and click Open. Once you click open, SOLIDWORKS uh, converter gets to work and it's it's converting the uh, the Hammer SLD ASM into a composer file at the moment. So once this process is complete, uh, let's go to the assembly tab and check box for Hammer. This makes the Hammer visible and now we can click update view for the Hammer to be visible and uh, now we can align it however we want. In order to align, first uh, we need to select the hammer subassembly and go to the transform tab. The very first option on the left you see is align. Under this align option, the user gets a few different uh, align on, aligning options like point to point, line axis to line axis, point to plane, line to plane, or plane to plane. Let's select line axis to line axis. Now zoom to the edge of the hammer and select the circular edge there. Now Composer wants us to select a different circular edge to align the hammer with it. Here is the tricky part where we have to zoom out and in towards where these T-nuts are located and we are going to try to get the circular edge of the T-nuts as well. Once you select that, and if the hammer is on the wrong side of the T-nut, all you have to do is hit the shift command, and you'll notice the hammer moves in the correct direction, correct, correct area. Now we can use our simple move translate command to move the hammer accordingly, and kind of place it in between these two T's. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.